Are you ready to witness the birth of a new aviation giant? Get ready to buckle up and soar through the skies with us as we take you on a journey to explore Poland's newest and most exciting infrastructure project, the Centralny Port Komunikacyjny, CPK or Central Communication Port. With over 4,000 meters of runway and an array of cutting-edge facilities, this airport promises to be a game-changer in the world of travel. So sit back, relax, and join us as we take off on an exhilarating ride to explore this magnificent feat of engineering and technology. Welcome to build to innovate where we explore the world's most ambitious infrastructure projects and the innovative technologies that power them. In this video, we'll take a closer look at the central communication port. Poland's latest and greatest airport project, and how it's set to revolutionize air travel in Central Europe. The Centralny Port Komunikacyjny, CPK, is a new massive airport currently under construction in Poland. It is being developed as a modern transportation hub that will offer world-class facilities and services to passengers, cargo operators, and airlines. The CPK is located near the village of Baranov, about 40 kilometers away from the city of Warsaw, and is expected to become one of the largest airports in Europe upon completion. The CPK is considered to be a crucial infrastructure project for Poland and the Central and Eastern European CEE region. It is expected to bring significant economic benefits to the country, create job opportunities, and boost tourism. The airport will also serve as a hub for air transport in the region, improving connectivity and accessibility to other European countries. The CPK is set to revolutionize the air transport industry in Poland and the CEE region. With its state-of-the-art facilities, modern technology, and sustainable approach, the airport will offer a new level of experience for passengers, cargo operators, and airlines alike. The history of air transport in Poland dates back to the early 20th century, with the first commercial flights taking place in the 1920s. However, the industry faced numerous challenges throughout its history, including World War II and the subsequent communist regime. It wasn't until the 1990s, after the fall of communism, that the air transport industry in Poland started to grow rapidly, with the emergence of new airlines and the development of existing airports. Despite the growth of the air transport industry in Poland, the existing airports in the country, including the main Warsaw Chopin Airport, have been struggling to meet the increasing demand for air travel. The Warsaw Chopin Airport has reached its maximum capacity, with limited space for further expansion. The need for a new airport that can accommodate the growing number of passengers, cargo operators and airlines has become apparent in recent years. In response to the growing demand for air travel, the Polish government launched the CPK project in 2017. The project is being developed by the Solidarity Transport Hub, STH, a state-owned company established for this purpose. The CPK is expected to be completed in three phases, with the first phase set to be completed in 2027. The airport is being designed to handle up to 45 million passengers annually, making it one of the largest airports in Europe. The CPK project involves numerous stakeholders, including the Polish government, the STH, private investors, and international partners. The project is expected to cost around 40 billion euros, with the majority of the funding coming from private investors. If you are liking this content so far and find it helpful, please go ahead and hit the like button, click the notification bell, and subscribe to our channel to get more great content from us. The CPK is being designed by a consortium of international architects and engineers with the goal of creating a modern and sustainable airport that will serve as a gateway to the CEE region. Here are some of the key features of the airport's physical appearance. Terminal buildings. The CPK will have four terminal buildings, with a total floor space of over 1 million square meters. The terminals will be designed to offer a comfortable and efficient experience for passengers with modern amenities and services. The design of the terminals will incorporate natural light and green spaces, creating a welcoming environment for passengers. Runways and taxiways. The CPK will have three runways, two parallel runways and a third crosswind runway, each capable of handling the largest commercial aircraft. The taxiways will be designed to allow for efficient movement of aircraft between the runways and the terminals. Cargo facilities. The CPK will also have modern cargo facilities, including a cargo terminal with a capacity of up to 3 million tons per year. The cargo facilities will be designed to handle a variety of cargo, including perishables, pharmaceuticals, and high-value goods. Sustainable Design 
The CPK is being designed with sustainability in mind, with a focus on reducing energy consumption and minimizing environmental impact. The airport will feature green spaces, including parks and gardens, as well as a rainwater harvesting system and a solar power plant. The design of the airport will also prioritize public transportation, with a high-speed rail line connecting the airport to Warsaw and other cities in Poland. The CPK is being designed to offer a modern and sustainable airport experience for passengers, cargo operators and airlines. With its state-of-the-art facilities and focus on sustainability, the CPK is set to become a landmark infrastructure project in Poland and the CEE region. The CPK is expected to have a significant economic impact on Poland and the CEE region, generating new jobs, attracting foreign investment and promoting economic growth. Here are some of the key ways in which the CPK is expected to impact the economy. Job creation The construction of the CPK is expected to create thousands of new jobs in Poland, with an estimated 100,000 jobs created by the time the airport is fully operational. The jobs created will range from construction and engineering to hospitality and aviation services. In addition, the CPK is expected to create indirect jobs in related industries, such as tourism and logistics. Foreign investment The CPK is expected to attract significant foreign investment, with private investors from around the world contributing to the project. The project has already attracted investment from China, which is funding the construction of a high-speed rail line that will connect the CPK to Warsaw and other cities in Poland. The CPK is also expected to attract new airlines and cargo operators, further boosting foreign investment in Poland. Economic growth the CPK is expected to promote economic growth in Poland and the CEE region, with the airport serving as a hub for trade, tourism and business. The airport's location in central Poland, with easy access to major highways and railways, makes it an attractive destination for businesses looking to expand in the region. The CPK is also expected to increase tourism in Poland, with the airport serving as a gateway to the country's many attractions. Regional Development the CPK is expected to promote regional development in central Poland, with the airport serving as a catalyst for new infrastructure projects and economic growth in the region. The airport is expected to attract new businesses and industries to the region, creating new opportunities for local residents. Safety and security are top priorities for the CPK, with the airport being designed to meet the highest standards for safety and security in the aviation industry. Here are some of the key measures that will be implemented at the CPK to ensure safety and security. Air Traffic Control the CPK will have state-of-the-art air traffic control systems, including the latest in radar and communications technology. The airport will also have a backup control center to ensure continuity of operations in the event of an emergency. Security Measures the CPK will have comprehensive security measures in place, including passenger and baggage screening, access control and surveillance systems. The airport will also have a highly trained security force to respond to any threats or incidents. Fire and Rescue Services The CPK will have a dedicated fire and rescue service, equipped with the latest equipment and staffed by highly trained personnel. The airport will also have a comprehensive emergency response plan in place to ensure a rapid and coordinated response in the event of an emergency. Safety Standards The CPK will be designed to meet the highest safety standards in the aviation industry, with all facilities and equipment subject to rigorous testing and certification. The airport will also have a comprehensive safety management system in place to identify and mitigate potential risks. With state-of-the-art air traffic control systems, comprehensive security measures and dedicated fire and rescue services, the CPK will be one of the safest and most secure airports in the world. The Central Communication Port in Poland is a massive airport project that promises to transform air transport in Poland and the CEE region. With its strategic location in central Poland, the CPK will become a hub for trade, tourism and business, creating new opportunities for economic growth and regional development. To recap, the CPK is expected to have a significant economic impact on Poland, generating new jobs, attracting foreign investment and promoting economic growth. The airport's state-of-the-art facilities and services will ensure a safe and secure environment for passengers, with comprehensive safety and security measures in place to mitigate potential risks. 
As the CPK nears completion, there is great anticipation for the benefits that it will bring to Poland and the CEA region. With its world-class facilities and services, the CPK will surely become a key infrastructure project in Poland and a gateway to the country's many attractions. The CPK is poised to become a symbol of progress and innovation in Poland and a shining example of what can be achieved through strategic planning and investment. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to Build to Innovate for more exciting construction projects from around the world. What do you think about the central communication port? If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them below. We love hearing from our viewers. Until next time, keep building to innovate.